you about what it's like being a PT. So my morning routine is the same every single morning. I get up, cold shower, do my face, come down and I phone my mum every morning without fail. Then I have my breakfast, three scrambled eggs, pineapple, and I make a mess in the mornings. <laughs> and some, um, some ham. That's lovely. Bit of pepper on it, beautiful. But then, once I've had my breakfast, my next little step is I get my social media sorted. So the phone comes out and I check in with all our clients and I start posting stuff up just to get them interactive, just to get their day started in a positive way. Because what you're going to find is the modern day PT doesn't spend hours and hours and hours running around a gym floor training people and training with people. Because what made me put this video together is I hear so many people say to me, it's okay for you, you're a personal trainer. It's okay for me to be fit. It's easy for me to be fit because I'm a personal trainer. It's okay for me to eat healthy. It's a personal trainer. It's not. I'm still a human being at the end of the day. I still have jobs to do. I still have chores to do. I still have a business to run. So... It's all about making priorities. So what we're going to do today, we're going to fly through today and I'm going to show you what actually a PT is all about. Breakfast is done, social media time to go. reading time so me and Heffy it's been a bit of a pain in the arse this morning so we're actually going to read the book together aren't we because you like a bit of attention So every morning I try to read around about 20 minutes of this book. It's The Buddha in You, or The Buddha in Me, The Buddha in You. And it's, it's, it's an introduction to Buddhahood. Um, yeah, so it's, I find it interesting. It's a really good read. Um, it's just education mind. It gets you thinking outside the box a little bit. Gets you thinking about what happiness really is. So. This morning routine for me was cleanse my body with the shower, clean my teeth, have a wash, do my hair, meditate, educate my mind. Uh, got a client in, in around about half an hour's time, so I'm going to deal with my client and then I'm going to fit my workout in because that's so important. A lot of people come to me saying I just don't have time to do it. You need to schedule it in. If we don't look after ourselves, then who is going to look after everybody else? A good coach of mine, Mark, he says you've got to be selfish first before you can actually be selfless. So you've got to help yourself. So it's all about education, 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 and stimulation your body, stimulating it all the time. So I'm going to get back to my book, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's get to the gym. We're here. This is the gym. This is where I work. Are you what? Oh, look. Hello, camera. <laughs> <laughs> first class. 
client done and dusted. We've had an hour in the gym, we hit the back. And now I've got an hour's spare. And I'm gonna use this hour really wisely because this is the time where I'm gonna actually use it for my workout, get my sessions done and get my, get everything wrapped up so that'll be before nine o'clock before my next guy comes in. And it's about using this time wisely. I'm not wasting anything. I'm just coming to you, I'm gonna to talk to you about what I'm doing. So today, check out my workout. Well, that's the weight training session done. It's taken me, can you see that? 36 minutes, for 36 minutes to do my weight, and now I'm gonna go and hit the run. When karma comes and fucks you, let's a bitch and I plan to make both of it. Judge me like you're some little show for the preaching for the preachers and I'll be a teacher. Shit flows out your mouth and I hope you choke on it. Claim this game, you think I'm insane? I'll prove you wrong while making the most of it. Think that I'm lost, but still pay cops. I got news as well as The thing is, I like to get everything done first thing in the morning, but sometimes our mornings can be really jam-packed with getting the kids ready, getting people ready for school, getting ready for work, but we still need to make that priority for ourselves. But so many people make excuses why they're not doing what they need to do. So why are you doing that now, Loz? What's doing windmills? Yeah, <laughs> that sounds really wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it now because it's something I need to do. I need to stretch because I've been in pain most of the night with my elbows and my shoulders. Um, so this morning has just been absolutely crazy busy. So I've decided to take 20 minutes and work on my flexibility. Because for me, it, flexibility is really important. So many of us have a, an injury because we're not working out, we're not doing this kind of stuff. So for me, being able to fit it in now, it's just perfect. Um, I'm not in a gym, right? I'm in the office doing this. You, you can do it anywhere at all whatsoever. You know, we're gonna finish at eight o'clock tonight. So there's always somewhere you can find, isn't there? I'm gonna always. shut up. Yeah, she's gonna shut up. And it's not about finding an excuse not to do something. How about find an excuse to do something? And the reason, I'm gonna go back to why we're doing this vlog because people always said to me, it's easy for you because you're a personal trainer. <laughs> and I think that's, I, I think that's quite harsh really because personal training is not, as I keep saying, it's not about being in the gym and blasting yourself. I spend most of my day now in front of this thing with Facebook on there, I've got all our clients actually on social, online training. We've just this minute finished a, a pod call with one of our lovely clients. So that's that was an hour long. But do you know what? Th this job I do now, I spend more time sitting down than I ever have done in any other job. Yeah, because this is the way we're going because we're reaching so many people worldwide rather than just locally we're branching out to reach more people. And by doing that, it makes my job more sedentary. So I really have to make that effort and commit to doing that to myself. So it's, just, it's not about, because I'm a PT, I'm a business owner and we have to make the business work. So we do have to spend a lot of time at the desk coaching, bringing more work in, but 
whatever your line of work is, don't make excuses not to do something. Make excuses to do it. You've got to be selfish before you can be selfless. So that is us wrapped up for today. We've started at, I started at seven and now it is 10 past eight in the evening. And the purpose of this vlog was to say that we've only got, we've all got 24 hours in a day. We all have the same, but we all have to make priorities. And those priorities um, can be health, it can be your business, it can be relationship, whatever it is. But when we put something as our main priority, we will do anything and everything to actually achieve that and do it. I, my day hasn't finished just yet. Because <laughs> um, I need to write my to-do list for tomorrow so I know what's going on. And I need to film a very short little bit for my vlog, which Baz is going to hold the light up for me so I look beautiful. So that is us as PTs. We are PTs. We it's alright for you, you're a PT. I know. We don't spend all the day in the gym, exercising, working out. As you see, we've been coaching nearly all day on the computers. I've done three PT sessions. I think you're, you're only going to see two of them, but I've done three today. I've done my workout, Loz has done her workout. And it's all about trying to fit things in, managing your time. If you really want to achieve something, you will do anything to actually do it. You've just got to find that time and squeeze it in. Be really efficient time. If you like this video, guys, just give us a thumbs up. And if it tickles your bits, hit the subscribe button for us. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate you watching this. And we will see you on the next vlog. <laughs> God, I was thinking, I really need a wee, so I'm like, hurry up and finish. We'll see you on the next see vlog. See you next one.